Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh. We have an amazing week ahead here. First of all, we have beautiful weather. We are going to be putting a design from a community member all around the smoke system for an electric airplane. Can't wait to show you that. Also, we have this awesome Scorpion motor. We're going to see how much power it can deliver. Dave has a pretty cool plan for that. Thank you. And finally, we are going to be putting the finishing touches on our indoor cloud system so we can tiny whip all around it. It's going to be epic. Stay tuned. So we got we got the prop for our Scorpion motor here. With that prop, which is actually way smaller than what it could swing, it's still 40 pounds of thrust. And we don't want to just strap it to this or strap it to the table because that could be sketchy. So we're trying to figure out what we're going to put it on to test it. <laughs> so we're going to make it more sketchy and possibly bolt it onto a tricycle bike. I think we do a, one of those red wagons. A red wagon? My concern about the red wagon though is, I mean, when you're a little kid and you got going fast, you did any kind of adjustment, you flipped off of them. Yeah, I'm not saying go down the asphalt though. I'm saying like go down out here Ready Boy Runway or up at Eco Flow Runway or something like that. No, what would be good no is to see what kind of speed speed. we could get pushing it. So Yeah, that would that would actually be helpful because the calculator doesn't tell you that. Yeah. Doesn't push it on Why don't we go into the cart barn and grab our old electric e-bike? Um, and we'll just bring it up and see if it's even mountable. Perfect. All right, let's do that. And yeah, we just found the keys yesterday, so good timing. <laughs> you have electric assist for turbo boost. That'll be, right. that'll be a great test. Does it still have battery to it? It lit up for like a split second. All I picture when you ride is da 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 this is actually way beefier than yeah, I remember. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You could almost put the prop like in the no, cage. Like, <laughs> Why does that seem wrong? Now you gotta remember. It's beautiful. You gotta remember that this is the death trap when you turn. Truth. If you turn too sharply and you're going too quickly, you will go on two wheels. Yeah. yeah. You know what we do? We just need to lower the center of gravity. And and the wheels and go straight. What do you think? Is that low? You look good. All right, we're just gonna have to describe how excited I am about this. Well, what do you say we see if we could design a mount in the same amount of time it takes to charge one battery? Sure. Deal. I'll charge the battery and design a mount. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, this is the uh, smoke design that Carlos uh, made up. He had some really good luck with his prototypes, so he designed this 3D printed one. We're gonna put it together and see what we can do here. What do you think? I love it. Now this is really exciting because this is actually a community member designing something that's bringing it forward, that's having some problems, that's looking for not only flight tests, but also you guys in the community to kind of help figure this out. It looks beautiful. Yeah, yeah, all the parts are designed really well. I don't see any big issues so far. Um, yeah, I'll get the printing and I love it. Yeah, based on his original design, what it looked like is he had an intake and then basically air would rush in there, kind of stir up the powder, and then it would stream out the back end. And what's cool about that is there's no heat. You know, baby powder and topping powder and all that stuff is incredibly cheap. And it looked like it actually like bloomed out for quite a while. And you could turn it off and on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, turn it off and on, I think, is the best part. You know, yeah. just being able to, you know, smoke on, smoke off. Just yeah. like ripple. Just like, there you go. <laughs> Perfect. So, we have a flurkin and we also have our legacy. We're gonna try it on both of these. Also with, uh, you've written one from lightweight PLA? Yeah, lightweight PLA and regular PLA, just to make sure they both turn out okay and see which one works better. Maybe. Once these are printed, we're gonna put them on the airplane, put them to the test, we get to see what happens. Okay guys, so we are so excited to try this prototype smoke generator. Now, I want to tell you something really exciting. Insta360 has come out with a new camera and I am recording on it right now. They came out with the Insta360 One RS. This camera is the most modular and versatile camera yet. What you guys are seeing right here is a 5.7K 360 lens. Now the awesome thing is you can actually switch out the lenses. They have a new ultra wide 4K boosted lens. 
Now this is the only action camera with active HDR that's gonna keep your highlights and your shadows more vibrant with color and also works along with their flow state stabilization. This is gonna keep your image looking as sharp as possible. This is gonna make my life so much easier because I don't have to pre-expose the camera before we go out and fly. The camera already does it and does an amazing job of it. Now I am so excited to use this camera. Now it actually drops today. It is a brand new camera. If you guys wanna pick one up yourself, go down in the link in the description below, pick one up, it is an awesome camera. Now I'm gonna switch out the lenses. I'm gonna strap this onto Michael's quad. We're gonna get flying. Just making sure my gyro's right. We just hooked this up. <laughs> well, you got sweet pink smoke in there. Yeah, yeah, so you got blue, I got pink. And then this is a pusher, so we're gonna see how it behaves with the pusher. This is tractor with clean air underneath it, so we're gonna kinda get to see which way it performs best. Hopefully it performs best in both ways, uh, so you guys can repeat this at home. I like this, I'm partial towards this. That's it gonna be great. a mess. I mean, that's gonna come out, it's just gonna coat it. It looks like the uh, Legacy has a uh, Jado rocket. It looks like this has like a pulse jet on it. You yeah, know? yeah this is, these <laughs> are best, cool, dude. Best of both worlds. All right, are we ready to fly yeah, then? let's do it. Okay, you're Good. golden. All right, I'll All go right. first. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> well, it makes a good bomb, too. It made a great bomb. <laughs> Alright, I did Stop something. Broke. I zigged when I should have zagged or something. I'm sorry. I, like, I guess we're just on this one now. <laughs> <All right. laughs> wow! That was, that was crazy! Are you okay, Bob? I'm fine. <laughs> Alright, well. I almost do my hands. <laughs> just put him by the side, Ricky Bobby. Okay. <laughs> your pockets. Goes. I'm gonna just loop around here and I'll hit it when I make this turn. Ready? Oh, I got nothing. Go ahead and come by us slowly. You pull? Yeah, right there's wide open. Unless something went wrong. I'll land real quick and find okay. out. <laughs> How did I break a prop when I hit on the nose? <laughs> oh, you hit hard. That yeah, was hard. That yeah, was hard. I tell you what, though. It looked like it handled it pretty decent. It looks like it handled it great. Oh yeah. I mean, it deployed oh. the uh, the power. Oh, I lost mine. <laughs> right. Well, let's just take a lunch. What do you guys? Prop. Didn't look like it hurt it. No, it just popped off. So is it open right now? No, it's. I closed it before I landed. Let me plug it back into the plane. Let me switch this one real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Out! And that's where they closed. Is that where they closed? Yeah. All right, so <clears throat> not everything works the plan. No, yeah. not even close this time. <laughs> We're gonna go back to the drawing board. We're gonna hook this up, make sure everything works properly on yours. I'm gonna fix my flurkin, and we'll go for round two. So David, you're out? Hey, yeah, I'm on my way out. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Is we don't want the depth of this. We want this to be higher up against the ground, but I don't want to also do where it's flat. I want a little bit of body. I just took a piece of chicken wire and just kind of folded it. And that way, what we can do is once we put the LED lights on, we can just staple through there. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. You know, I, I think it'll be easy. Okay. Wes, I'm gonna start sticking lights. Can I bug you in probably like 15 minutes to yeah. get your paints? Give me a shot. You rock, Thank you. All right. And I also got some uh, plywood cut up for the motor. I'm gonna see what I can do on getting this uh, attached to the bike. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so as you can see here at this shop, we love taking all of our DIY projects, our airplanes, even our crazy pod racers, and turning them into works of art. Now, the reason that's significant is because we've actually had the opportunity to work with our good friends over at Masterworks. And Masterworks obviously has emerged as like the only platform really taking the billionaire art collectors head on and lets you access those exclusive investments like the Banksy, the Monets, and all the other iconic artists out there. And the best part about it is you're paying just a fraction of what you would obviously normally pay for a great, amazing art piece. Now, art has always proven to be the most safe investment across the board. And to showcase that, actually contemporary art prices actually outpace the S&P 500 total return by 164% from the years 1995 to 2021. 
All right, so personally, I have investments in the stock market. And as we all know, the stock market is not the best return on your investment at the moment because of everything going on in the world. So I'm even personally thinking about investing in art through Masterworks because it's that super safe investment. And I know that the returns in 10, 20, 30 years are gonna be that much greater. All right, so now this is where you guys come in. If you guys wanna invest in art today, make sure you check the link out in the description below. Go check out Masterworks. You're gonna get priority access if you check out that link. All right, so now I gotta go check on Dave because he's currently strapping a giant motor with a giant prop on the back of an electric bike, and I gotta go check that out. Okay, yeah, this thing is very terrifying. <laughs> that was that was only at three on the servo tester. The soft startup thing really messes with me though. <laughs> I'm not used to that kind of thing. <laughs> All right, so now we get to go outside and try this thing out and see what it really does. So you think the goal would be a good goal to see if you can go all the way from this fairway all the way up the hill? Yeah. To, uh, to manufacturing? Yeah, uh, we'll see if the battery will last the whole way. With just prop power alone? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good goal. I don't want to run it high RPM though because I don't want the prop to spin off. Yeah. Well, I mean, just the thrust is really what we're looking for. And if it can carry you at 240 up a hill on a right. bike, we got this. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> well, let's see what happens. Yep. Okay. All right. So we'll try to get you, Noah, on the side of him, but not too close to him. You all ready, Wes? I think he's going to go down the middle. Oh. <laughs> He's already off. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> so it's starting to pick up speed. <laughs> He's going faster than it's now. 15 miles an hour right there. Back. <laughs> I have it all the way down to the floor. That's impressive. I can't keep up with them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I hit 25, and I'm on grass, so I'm gonna slow down a little bit. <laughs> We're gonna have four of those. <laughs> what do you think? I hit 25 on the way back, okay. and it was a little too bumpy, so I slowed down. But that was still over only at. Uh, five on the dial, and we've got up to what, 10? You only have throttle? Yeah. <laughs> big chicken. Oh, that was too bad. <laughs> that was awesome. It's fast. It's fast. I don't think we're gonna have the same problems with, as the Megalacy. Well, let's take it, like, we can take Noah's record time and how much run time he did, and we can do a general, because you're full throttle or high throttle, low throttle. Um, it was it was right around, like, half range, which is, I mean, the, Me or the B-17 is not gonna need anything over that period. This has to be the most fun I've ever seen or had watching a, a motor get tested. Yeah, it's it was a blast. All right, let's go ahead and put it back on charge and see what the capacity is. That will give us a good idea and, and we're good to go. Yeah, good deal. And then we got to order three more. <laughs> <laughs> so this will make it so it doesn't shift. It'll have longer spacing and it'll be the color of 255, whatever that means. So Dave, what are you guys doing? Um, we're programming LEDs right now to put in our little uh, Easter egg. Should I even say what the Easter egg is? I don't think you should. It is out of this world. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we started off the day thinking we were gonna have smoke without heat. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the powder idea is awesome. I, yeah. I love the idea. Um, it, it's actually a lot safer and you don't have to worry about fuses or lighting yeah. anything. It's it's less complicated in the grand yeah. scheme of things. And if this goes the way I think it is, you guys are going to see exactly what these big smoke bombs or smoke systems do in terms of heat to this foam. 
uh, good chance it's gonna catch on fire. Yeah, yeah, there's a very good chance. We even put some aluminum foil tape over stuff, but there's only so much you can do with styrofoam and paper. Yeah. What do you say we charge some batteries and the weather is gorgeous? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's beautiful outside. Yeah, let's put these in the air. Do you want to light it? Do you want me to light it? Easier? Uh, what's that? I can light it if you want. He lights you launch? Okay. I'll, I'll uh, yeah, then. All right, and you remember at the launch, don't get me up too high, don't flip your, I know, I, yeah, yes, yes, sir. Hush. <laughs> It's in the oh, air! Oh, Lee, you did awesome! It's in the air! Oh, there it goes! That looks amazing! All right, let's get you in the air, bud. Something's right. gonna happen. <laughs> this is what we want to see, guys. So whenever we're testing this out, this is what we want to see in midair. I think oh. the Flurkin has just become the new smoker. Oh, wow. Look at that. What color you got up there? I've got red, white, blue, but it's right. like just red right now. Pass me up, I want to get behind you here. <laughs> Looks sick. There it is. <laughs> I got to trim up a little bit. I have way more nose heavy. So last time I went tail heavy. This time I'm nose heavy, but that's okay. It flies like it's on rails. This is so cool. All right, so friends, you know, smoke on airplanes is something that's been done a lot. The hard thing with electric airplanes is to be able to do something like this where it's economical. There's no heat involved. If we can make this happen with talcum powder or dye packs, it's gonna change what our community can do and also what this hobby can do. This is kind of what we wanna see, what we hope to see in the original part, but boy, Carlos, you made a beautiful design. I wish it would've worked a little bit better. Yeah, yeah, um, unfortunately it didn't work out, but I have a feeling there's gonna be either him or somebody else uh, doing some redesign, and it's gonna be back and probably better than ever. Look at this lurking with the smoke on I it. I am all out of smoke. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm gonna do a low pass. This never gets old. Do <laughs> <laughs> you think I can connect it? Uh, the wind's blowing a little too much, I think. Maybe. Oh, there oh, it is! Oh, you got Look it! Look at that! Yeah! Man, if it was calmer. You're still smoking. I know! <laughs> <laughs> no, it could be by now, it could be the actual plane itself. I don't know. <laughs> what if you do, uh, like, what if you do, like, whirly birds? Whirly birds? Make some sweet smoke things in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Wes. <laughs> Sorry, Wes. Oh, I think we're coming to the end, friends. Listen, we're at six minutes and 30 seconds. What did you guys do to really kind of protect this? Um, we actually uh, just took some foil tape uh, for like uh, heating ducts and things of that nature. Yeah. And put it over top of anything that was behind the smoke grenade. Well, let's see, let's see how well it protected. Because in worst case scenario, even though the powder solution didn't work, you guys can do this with exactly what we have. Oh. It is actually still smoking though. Yeah. If it catches on fire, throw it again. We'll just fly it until it burns. Let's go check it out. <laughs> it's in really great shape. Are you kidding me? Wow. It check this out. <laughs> Look at the prop though. Wake up and smell the sulfur. Friends, thank you for being part of the Flight Test family. Also, we are not done with this, but we need your help in a big way. Carlos needs your help in a big way. We want to see this powder solution become a reality. Just the economics of it, how simple it will be. It'll be cool burning, but we want to see the reality. We need your help for that. So please check out the link below to go and check out Carlos's forum post. Yeah, it was, it was, it was on the forums. And uh, yeah, show them some love. See what you guys can do. Also, we love the new Insta360 ONE RS. If you guys are doing chase piloting or you're doing your own videos like what you guys are doing with the Edgewater Flight Crew, uh, this is a great camera solution for you. It has a 360, it has a direct, it's reconfigurable. Check more information on that in the link below and get one for yourself. Um, if you guys like what you see, tune in next time. We're uh, gonna be working on PI, getting it ready to start fiberglass in the B-17. Take care. See you next time.